Okay, so I left you guys off with making the head part. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you're going to make sure that your hot glue gun or your super glue is still out. And see, we're using hot glue for this demonstration because we don't have super glue. Um, you, you've made that part so far, probably, because it's pretty much what we've been doing so far. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the nose band, which is going to go right here on the bridle. So, put that down. Um, take your nose band pieces, and the, sh the longer one of the two, which is, if you look at this, the top one, of course, um, is going to go on the top, because that's, like, probably best place for it to go. It just depends on your measurements that you did. But, um, you're going to put, like, a little bit of glue on it, right there, and you're going to put your thing right there, and keep it like that. Okay. Okay. After that, you're going to take the, this other end, and you're going to put a little ball of glue. I know it's a cooking term, but oh well, people. You can use it for a crafting term. And stick it over there. And hold it like that. With hot glue guns, people remember that the glue does stick to your hand, so it's a little bit more messier. It's a little bit messier, so yeah. Okay, so now what you're going to have with your bridles, you're going to have this. It's going to be like a little loop. As you can see, it kind of stands up a little bit. Okay, now what you're going to do that has to do with that part, it's the little brown loop right here, um, is you're going to take your other little piece right here, and you're just going to have to glue it down there like that. So what you're going to do is do the same thing, and just put the little glue dot, and put the other little one if, it's, if it doesn't dry too quickly. and glue it together. So after you do that, your product, your bridle or whatever, should, should, I'm not saying it, like, absolutely it has to look like this, because people are different, and you guys could do it different ways. But the way I make them is they look like this so far. And now with the rune, you could do them any different way. Because with the black bridle right here, they're loose so they move around everywhere. You guys see that? Yeah. They are loose everywhere. And with the um, multicolored bridle that I made... It's, um, I kind of put too much glue on it, or I made it too small, I mean, and, um, it just kind of doesn't move on either s side, really. Or you could have, like, an in-between bridle, like, maybe one side moves. These both move, but maybe just one side moves and one side doesn't. You can do it that way. Um, it really doesn't matter, but I'm going to show you... I guess how to do it, how it doesn't move and how it does move. So I'll make a double bridle thing. Okay. So with your reins, um, wait, before you do that, you're going to make sure it fits your horse. So you're going to slide it over their nose, which it should fit because you did the measurements. And it should look a little bit like that. Um, I'm going to have... When I get a video, when I get a chance to go by the craft store, I'm gonna get some chain and some clasps to make a better um, throat latch for them. Cause then, and then you can ch check out my new video of it, but um, which won't be today. Um, I'm just gonna take the chain and put it right there, so it's removable too, or it might not be removable. I just don't know yet, but. It'll keep it on the horse a little bit better, but when your person's out riding and stuff. So, and then you can just slide it off over their head. Okay, so tough pants. Okay, so now you're going to take your bridle, 
and um, if you want it to be movable you're going to stick it through here on the bottom side so where the brow band is and you're going to make a big loop right there now once you've done that loop once you've done that little loop on it you're going to put a little bit of glue and you're going to smush it together and so now when it dries that side's movable so you can put it on either side first it really doesn't matter but they need to be on the under strap so it needs to be like fine so when you're looking at your horse when it's on your horse it needs to be like instead of in front it needs to be behind the horse so like right back here it's gonna be behind it so that when your person's pulling it's on the side okay and then after that if you want um, if you want you can do it the same way on the other side just put it through again make sure it's all straight put it through again and glue it again with the little glue dot thing but if you want it to be non movable you're gonna give it a really small loop like that and you're gonna put it in the place you want it to be in because if you don't it's gonna really mess it up um, and you're just gonna put the glue like all around that little loop and then you're gonna push it down really hard so that it's on the right place so it should look so it should look like that where it's not moving okay okay guys um, then that's your complete bridle pretty um, also if you want to make it where it's not movable on both sides you just do the same exact thing or if you wanted to make one like this and you don't want it to be like that after a while just put a little bit of glue in it and stick it down right there like you see how there's a little loop just put a little bit of glue right in there and then just smush it down and it'll make it non-movable but you want to make sure it's in the right place and then the finished product on your horse should look like that okay everybody I know this is kind of a long video but thanks for watching bye